Yeah, it was a tough day. Um, it was, uh, I was playing for the state championship game, and uh, found out my mom. Found out my mom had a heart attack. Uh, it was pretty tough. We were at the Minnesota State High School hockey tournament and my son's team at the time, which was Duluth East, was playing. I was feeling a little bit disoriented. I thought maybe it was just the excitement. The team won two very unexpected games, so they were off to play in the championship game on Saturday. After the semi game, we went down to see the team and watch the boys come out of the locker room and say hello and congratulate them and something was wrong. I had a tremendous pressure in my chest, but it was just probably anxiety or, or something to do with the excitement. The minute I felt the um, left arm pain, I knew something was different, and that was a red flag for me. My sister was sitting with me, and I told her that I thought I was in trouble, that something was not right, and so she yelled at my husband, and the EMTs arrived instantaneously into the suite. Her blood pressure was very elevated. And that's when I, my first concern was, because I wasn't sure, obviously, what was going on. And as I said, we think you should go across the street. We did get in to the ER room and saw the ER doctor, and they do what's called a troponin test to check your blood to see if you've had a heart event. And it came back negative initially. And she was concerned because she took one look at me and she even said, you look healthy, but she just felt something was off. So she asked me to stay in the ER a couple more hours so they could retest with the troponin, which we did. And uh, the second test then came back positive that it had a heart attack. Um, it was really surreal. I just couldn't imagine how I could have a heart attack. I had watched what I would eat. I exercised daily, did all the things that I was told to do by my doctor, and there were no signs. She has a history, family history, with her aunt and her uncle dying very young, her father having heart disease. So then it was pretty worrisome when they came back with that information that she had had a heart attack. It was difficult not knowing why um, I had had a heart attack. They um, asked that I wait for a day or two until um, I could get into and have an angiogram done. The minute they went in with the angiogram, the cardiologist, he had some knowledge of spontaneous coronary artery dissection and said, oh, I know exactly why you had a heart attack. The tear had already gone back into place and the blood was flowing properly. And so they chose to just let it heal on its own. They really don't know what causes it. It appears to be happening with a um, majority of women in um, young women, healthy women, elite runners. There are moments even now that are very emotional when you think about um, what happened. Um, but, you know, we, we try to look forward and, and, and really focus on the positives. My cardiologist recommended a Facebook group for survivors to at least just have that comfort that you're not alone and that there are other people out there that have survived it. And they do a 5K walk run every spring in Chicago. So my husband and I went to the fundraiser and participated with other survivors. And, and that was healing in a sense. The fundraising part is key because obviously that will support the research that's necessary. The statistics are less than 20% reoccurrence typically, but I would like that to be zero. And if I can look at doing something in my lifestyle or, or changing something that would directly affect that, I would want to know that. My hope is too to, to continue to be involved in awareness for heart disease and get involved to help raise money and funds for continued research, this doesn't discriminate, that it can happen to anyone at any time and just uh, listen to your body and know when something isn't right and seek medical help. And be persistent in the ER because oftentimes in these situations some of the women that I met at the uh, 5k walk had been sent home because they thought it was anxiety or stress and um, it was actually a dissection that you know some haven't made it through.
thing I admire most about her is the fact that she wanted to go to the game on Saturday, even in the hospital, and they wouldn't let her out. But uh, that's what she does. She supports us, always has, and uh, she's been the best mom to us for sure.